Good day subscribers, uh, TP here on the offshore New Zealand 600 hard top and today we have the family on board. We are going towards the South Channel Fort and uh, that's uh, an island that uh, we are going to be exploring thanks to uh, this wonderful vessel that's getting us there and back and hopefully we're going to be doing some other rough farm activities today so join us today and uh, See how we go, and uh, already the missus wanted to have a go on the wheel, so let's see how we go. Okay, as we are approaching uh, South Channel Fort, also known as South Channel Island, uh, let's have a bit of a history about it and uh, tell you a little bit about this uh, wonderful island that we have in the middle of uh, our bay. Uh, so this is an artificial island and it's in southern Port Phillip Bay, Victoria, Australia. It's approximately six kilometers from our port down at Rye. Uh, it is approximately 120 meters long, 76 meters wide and uh, 6.4 or thereabouts uh, meters above sea level. So. Um, this was built uh, in, a, in an extremely interesting way uh, at, at the time with 14 tons of blue stone, uh, boulders, concrete and sand. Bear in mind this was built uh, at the end of 1800s so uh, you can see how much work was going into uh, this particular island in those days. Uh, wonderful engineering during that time. So pretty much, uh, as you can see, the uh, South Channel Fort was uh, designed as a military base. Between the 1890 and 1916, over 100 officers uh, and men lived uh, on uh, the island, servicing as mechanics uh, and maintenance uh, people uh, to increase uh, the range uh, rapidly of fire and efficiency uh, across the bay. However. During the uh, the times, uh, some new ports, some new ports were actually designed at uh, Fort Nepean and Queenscliff, and we we're probably going to visit that one day, and uh, we'll probably take some videos as well to show you what's going on. It is a fantastic place to be at if you are in the area uh, and you have access to the vessel. That is the way to be at, I suppose. Um, so stay stay tuned for the rest, uh, and it's also. As you can see, um, look at that, it's just so much concrete in that place, <laughs> it's not funny. Um, fortunately, they have locked a couple of areas where you can see where the guns uh, were under the ground, but there are some areas above where you can actually see uh, some uh, leftovers of the main gun um, in place. You'll see it very soon, actually. Let's not forget that uh, <laughs> the view from South Channel Fort is absolutely amazing. You can see 360 degrees the bay. And just uh, have a look at that. What a brilliant place. We are very lucky to have it down here in Melbourne and uh, I urge people to visit during that time, obviously. The kids wanted to dive just near there at the port and uh, wow, there's a lot of fish underneath there, let me tell you. <laughs> the kids having fun 
and uh, it is uh, an exciting place to, uh, to bring the kids uh, and have a look at the area, if you have a vessel of course. And uh, of course you can't stop them from doing other activities as we went away from the island. Uh, you know, we have the shark with us and uh, it's time to have some fun uh, while we are taking the family back to port. As you can see, lots of fun uh, down at uh, Port Phillip Bay with the offshore 600 hat top and uh, we can't stop uh, our little junior wanting to go out to do uh, some fishing. So uh, in the next segment, we have uh, a little bit of uh, fishing in our local waters, trying to catch some uh, King George Whiting, which is my favorite fish of all. So have a bit of a go at this. Hey, Papa's Junior is doing the whiting today in our local waters. Yeah, mate. Nice little session with uh, a few dozen uh, of those King George Whitings on the table and uh, we are good to go uh, for uh, another species if we get the chance. However, during that particular time uh, we caught something interesting. A Port uh, Jackson shark was actually on one of the uh, lines uh, and he was rather large. Those particular Port Jackson sharks are um, growing up to 1.6 meters and is it any way that I can stop my um, junior to jump in on the water to film it? Impossible. He, you tell him about sharks and he's on the water no matter the size. So yep, he wanted to uh, go in and uh, swim with him so we got him in there and uh, had a bit of a play with him and uh, we obviously had to let him. He was fairly tired after being on the uh, line for a while so we uh, released him, we say goodbye and uh, we catch him next time, so that's pretty much it. As our fishing continued with King George Whiting, we call it a day and uh, we hope we can catch you on our next adventure with uh, the offshore boat New Zealand Hato. Till then, hoodoo!